Outposts Russia came into the tournament as one of the two lowest-ranked sides, alongside fellow cup openers Saudi Arabia. Attack from both Russian fans on the ground in Russia and pundits was equally dour, considering Russia's seeming lack of form coming into the cup. Yet, an unexpected dismantling of Saudi Arabia and an even more telling 3-1 defeat over an Egypt side welcoming the return of Mohamed Salah from injury has been enough to prove Russia are seeking glory on home turf. Their last match against Uruguay will determine who matches up against Portugal or Spain, with both case scenarios a serious challenge. To Mohamed Salah's injury was ultimately costly questions about whether Egypt could achieve a result against Uruguay without their star talisman were arguably alleviated until Jose Jimenez's winner. Egypt were resilient and dominated parts of the match, but when the time appeared to shine on Salah to make an appearance, his coach opted otherwise, possibly to save him for their matchup with Russia. There is no doubting that Mohamed Salah's injury during the Champions League final has cost Egypt its fairy tale World Cup campaign. His arrival during the Uruguay game may have sparked a result for his side, but injury curtailed a magical moment we have come to know him for during his time with Liverpool. Despite notching a World Cup goal in the form of a penalty, it was merely a consolation for what ended as a 3 1 loss. 3. Denis is the cherry on top of Russia's impressive efforts Villarreal's Denis Cherchev was not amongst players tipped to be near the top of the goal-scoring charts, but following just two matches, Cherchev has notched three goals, including a magnificent trivela in Russia's opening match. At 27, having spent his entire career in Spain, including impressing immensely for Real Madrid's B-side, this World Cup will likely serve as a lifeline for the winger who was brought in for injured Alan de Zegov in Russia's opening match. It has worked incredibly in favor of the Russians, as they have exhibited the dominance that tournament hosts should be displaying. 4. Saudi Arabia's better play against Uruguay could not redeem them credit must be given to Saudi Arabia because of the way they reacted to their 5-0 embarrassment at the hands of Russia. Manager Juan Antonio Pizzi's comments pre-game comments regarding the need for his side to be calm and composed after the loss were clearly key to his side's impressive showing against Uruguay. If not for a genuinely baffling mistake by goalkeeper Mohamed Adaloe, the result may have ended in favor of the plucky Saudis, whom tested Uruguay's resolve throughout the 90. Yet, despite all of their positive build-up play, their lack of an end product in the front third was costly yet again, sending them home early. Uruguay v Saudi Arabia player ratings 5. Grinding results favors tournament underdogs Uruguay entered the tournament with much backing to easily conquer their group. Despite Egypt and Saudi Arabia threatening the sturdy Uruguayan defense at times, they held out to achieve consecutive 1-0 wins. These results have maintained their record of maintaining a clean sheet in all games played in 2018. The experienced Diego Godin is supported by his Atletico Madrid central defensive partner, Jose Jimenez, whom alongside his club's vice-captain and country's captain has started to impart performances belonging in the echelon of a world-class defender. Fernando Mislara in goal is additionally worthy of a mention, as he has been superb so far in the tournament. Despite the star strikers at their disposal, it is clear Uruguay's resilient defense will be integral to them pushing past the round of 16 into the quarters and so on.